Because my production team put me in a star shirt, I'm guessing we could be talking about asterism today. What? You threw me for a loop. Fluorite. It's probably gonna be really colorful. It's probably not gonna be a smaller stone because this is a little bit heavier. It's gonna be a bigger stone. And I am I'm right, of course, because this is an awesome stone. First thing I notice is that there is not one color. It's kind of banded, so I can see bands of yellows, greens, blues, and purples. A nice classic looking shape. I definitely would set this in a ring. Love that color. Each little direction, I can kind of see a different band or pattern. You know a rainbow, there's different bands of color. You're gonna see that in some gemstones too. It's cut so you can see all the different bands. It highlights that coloring and that pattern. Kind of galaxy-esque. Is this a galaxy cake? That is not a galaxy cake. <laughs> Guys, so I thought that fluorite kind of looked like a galaxy cake, but this is not a galaxy cake right here. I don't think I could eat this. I don't want to eat this because I'm afraid of what it would do to my teeth. That's really hard. Everyone, meet fluorite. Fluorite, meet, meet YouTube. You can see banding right here, kind of a yellowish green color, purple right here. This right here is a really cool piece because it's like a big old slab compared to a gemstone. Both resemble galaxy cakes, very out of this world. If you were to look on the edge, you know, you have an idea that something is in there, but I would never guess if I just saw that, that it translates to this. I've seen a lot of people display fluorite slabs like this. There's also people that can make slabs of gemstones as coasters or decorative artifacts in your home. You know, there's really a whole host of things that you can do with slices and slabs like this. Right here, it's gonna be a little bit opaque. I'd say that's transparent. Can you see me? Hi. In all gemstones, some crystal, some material you get is gonna be translucent, transparent, other could be opaque. So you see like a vein going through here. Feels pretty smooth, but I can feel like a rough spot right here. Colors in fluorite, are they can be caused by impurities, uh, radiation, color centers. Like with any gemstone, it's a disruption to chemical composition. So each you know, mineral or element is gonna cause some different coloring. You know, some recipes, if you want a strawberry cake, you're gonna put strawberries in it. If you want a chocolate cake, you're gonna put chocolate in it. That's how gemstones are. Some recipes give you purple, some recipes give you green, some recipes give you stripes, and others, it's a solid color, maybe like a sapphire. When I say by color, I mean a stone that has more than one color. Party color would be more than two colors. I think this stone is definitely party color. I see green, blue, and a purplish hue. And I hear fluorite, I think of this. I don't think of a solid color. I think of different patterns, different colors, all that jazz. I have no clue how big of a rock this came from, but it does look like it was you know, a big old slab and they just cut it and I assume they would polish the side a little bit. The outside right here, kind of like the skin of the stone, it's much rougher. I wish everyone watching this video could be like up and close, seeing all the like concentrated patterns and bands. It's really neat. You know, this cut stone is equally important. Fluorite actually has four directions of cleavage and that basically means that there's four directions that the atoms aren't quite as tight. So if you are cutting a facet right here and you accidentally make a mistake, you could hit that cleavage plane and it just boop apart. If you're careful and you treat your jewelry well, I see no reason why you couldn't have a ring, but I prefer this as a pendant. I like that bright color. It would be a galaxy around my neck. I could wear my galaxy necklace by eating my galaxy cake. So Roman historian Pliny the Elder actually referred to fluorite as his most precious substance. I think I know why, look how cool that is. It's actually cut in an emerald cut, which is like a rectangular shape to show off that different banding so that you can see the most color and the most of the pattern. It does look rather similar to a galaxy, different colors, banding. What this reminds me most of are all those yoga pants and sweatshirts that have that kind of galaxy pattern. I don't own any of it, but that doesn't matter because I can just wear fluorite. Just so it doesn't flow right over your head, fluoride and fluorite are not the same thing. You won't find this in a toothpaste tube. Can't say I have been to space. I've been to a lot of other places. Space is on my bucket list. But if I did go to space, I would expect to see lots of nebulas. I would maybe think that they had different colors in them. This is very like spacey, galaxy-esque. So on this, you gotta take a closer look at the different colors, the banding, the pattern. It's really neat how you see the same thing in the gemstone as you do in this big old slab. It's just a really interesting look of what Mother Nature can give us.
So I've been around the sun a few times and I've seen a lot of gemstones. Not all of them look nearly as cool as this. So if you don't wanna miss future cool gems, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you later.